Hello everyone and welcome back to the Lair of the Overmind for part 6 of my Let's Play the Reaper of Souls Beta Adventure Mode series. We just got done with our first rift, went pretty good if I do say so myself, and we're going to continue the series on by going around and trying to complete more bounties and get whatever it is that we need for yet another rift. Uh, so let's see here. Let's go to New Tristram. Act 1. Hopefully things will go very quickly and smoothly here. Let's jump into the festering... Not the festering woods, but the Halls of Agony. We need to kill Battle Rage the Plagued and kill a uh, hundred enemies also. Looks like the guy that we need to go after is just right around the corner. That's pretty cool. Saves us the trouble of trying to hunt him down. I don't have enough spirit. It's always nice. There is the guy that we can take out, all by himself, apparently. And it's just as easy as that. Let's grab the equipment and resume taking people out. Got another bunch of guys that we need to take care of before this town is complete. Master of Pain. That didn't hurt very much. I think you might want to rethink your title of master. <laughs> Maybe novice would be a little more accurate for you. him before he can change. Almost done with the monster Your flaws are revealed. Jungle Savior. One more. Got it. Alright, where else are we going? Festering Woods. Let us waste no time. Those rifts are where it's at currently. So we need to kill 125 enemies and kill Grimsack, who is, once again, right around the corner. Not enough spirit. Stover of heads, huh? And you're dead that fast. Awesome. Got another 99 enemies to kill. Cursed chest. Let's go ahead and mess with that. I Slay the elites before it. the timer ends. Yeah, tell me damage. I don't like the look of that. Gosh, I wish I had saved my seven-sided strike for this. The fact that they can fly around everywhere is really not helping. Got him. Legendary Axe. Nice. Let's go ahead and see if that is any good. Come on, big money, big money. The Burning Axe of Sandkiss. Chance to fight through the pain when enemies hit you. Does that mean you have a chance to just shrug the damage off? I wonder. I don't think we'll be able to uh, reforge that to be really usable, but uh, I will check it out at a later date. Let's continue with this rift. Or not this rift, but these bounties, excuse me. Your strength fails! It is not We're ready. Yet. Halfway done with the enemy count for this area. Oh, this is 
skeletons. Easy pickings. I don't have enough spirit. Treasure goblin, let's take him down. That ability is not yet recharged. Got him. Bats. The storm breaks. And this should do it. Right on. A keystone. Fragment of one anyway. Alright, so let's comma somewhere else. Cathedral. Let's keep it moving. Also, I'm just curious. What? Let's see here. It's 128 million to go up a level, and each bounty you get about two and a half million. So that's not too bad, I guess. What are we doing here? Cleanse the cursed shrine. Well, we gotta find it first. Let's just kind of run through, guys, until we can locate this thing. We do want to get back to the rifts, after all. Is it up here? Nope, but there's a goblin. That's just as good. Hey, get back here. I didn't say you can go anywhere. You know, I've always thought that it would be a really cool mechanic if, uh... There, there's different kinds of goblins, right? There's like treasure goblins, there's treasure pygmies and whatnot. Well, it'd be cool if one of those goblin types could maybe pick up items that you might drop on the ground and turn them into better items, maybe, if you kill the goblin. I don't know. It's a thought for the uh, Blizzard devs if they ever get around to watching this video series. I need spirit. be another really good uh, reason to pick up a bunch of white items. Find one of those goblins and then uh, use your white items that are useless to drop them and then change them to them so he picks them up, maybe makes them better. I don't know, it's a thought. It's an idea. Everybody loves ideas. Okay, let's, yep, right down here. Cleanse the shrine. Feed each wave. No problem. This fight is over. You get better rewards if you succeed in the uh, objectives before you get the shrine or the cursed chest, whichever one it ends up being. Okay, one more wave, right? The storm breaks. My mind is stronger. on 63, right on. Got it. Sweet, and I got a Radiant Chest bonus. That's pretty awesome. Let's uh, go ahead and open the Radiant Chest. Get the Enlightened Shrine. And, comma, go to the next Mounty. The Royal Crypts. Let us also go ahead and give ourselves the uh, Paragon skill point that we earned. Defense, huh? Uh, let's go ahead and go life regeneration. Why not? It helps to have a little extra survivability. Alright, so our objective is to kill the Skeleton King, apparently. Should be easy enough. Let's go. There's a lot more guys than usual in here. The storm breaks! Rare mob. I've never come across a champion mob in the uh, Royal Crypts. That's pretty awesome. Thank 
guy with a lot of health. Mandrake the Greedy. Whoop, Vortex. Alright, let's continue on to the Skeleton King. Guys, all over the place in here. We'll huh, nice. Another group of guys to take care of. Right on. Got him. Alright, let's get in there and take care of Leoric. Wakey, wakey! It's time to come back to life and then promptly die once again. Bring it on! Way down before he even summoned his first group of minions. He's looking good. A legendary for us. I doubt it, but you never know. Got him. No legendary, but that's okay. Carry any more? See, we should have one more, I believe. Yep, down here in the southern highlands. to enter the Cave of the Moon Clan and kill all enemies in Cave of the Moon Clan level 2. Alright, well let's not waste any time attempting to find the Cave of the Moon Clan. Shrine, Fortune Shrine. Nice. Very quick and easy find of the Cave of the Moon Clan. So we just need to speed through it to level 2, and uh, then take out all of the creatures on level 2. I might want to get that uh, Pool of Reflection. Bonus experience is always a welcome thing. Okay, don't waste time with that small fry. Get to level 2. And get to the Rifts. Feel the My burden is too great. Too much. Ah, uh, we got a lore book. In the eastern kingdom of Hejistan, I heard rumors of Zakarum warriors called inventory. Crusaders. While the natives were most reticent, I was able to deduce that this order was founded 200 years ago, just as Rakis took his army of paladins west. But these Crusaders went east on a very different mission. Did they now? Uh, let's see here. Just kind of get through it really fast. As I see some very promising green numbers, like that, for example. That's a complete upgrade, so let's go ahead and put it on. Uh, 
another plan. Royal Diamond. Alright, alright. I'm actually going to go ahead and save these because I'm starting to think that if I just go ahead and let go of my legendary pieces that have the set bonus for these rares, I might be way better off. So, I'm going to go ahead and keep these boots also until I have a uh, ring to match it and a chest to match these and whatnot. Alright, let's go ahead and put away our legendary and our materials and whatnot. And then our reroll. I'm keeping the items that are potentially rerollable right there. Might want to also just go ahead and stash those. Alright, let's get back there. Get to Cave of the Moon Camp Clan level 2 and take these guys down. Spiders! I hate spiders. Especially those really small ones. Your strength fails! Dead end. A lot of gold on the ground. I'm being chased! No! Let's go to the right. I don't see a chance for glory. What are you talking about? Alright, click cave level 2. Let's annihilate everyone on cave level 2. Rare pack right out the gate. Nice. Yeah, screw you and your freeze ability. Great shot so far. Second group of uh, champion mobs. I don't like the look of that. No sweat. Splendid chest. Ha! A vicious strike. not want to miss any enemies. I really don't want to have to go back and attempt searching for them. Oh, I see. They got little skulls on the mini-map so you can't lose them. That's really convenient. Thank you, Blizzard. Appreciate it. There's two remaining. And something tells me they're this way. Alright, bounty complete. Complete. Return to Tr Tyrael and New Tristram I for need your to reward. Go back. Let us go to Tyrael. We got almost 7 million EXP for that one. Well done. Here is your reward. Thank you very much. You have finished all the bounties here, but more await you in other lands. Indeed, they do. Appreciate it. 2.5 million EXP and a Herodric Cash. Let's see if we got anything good in this cache. Keystone, two keystone fragments, crushed sacrifice, failed crystal, a bunch of reusable parts, a marquee emerald, a marquee topaz, and salvageables. Are any of those things I just picked up any good? Let us see. Don't care for that or that. Uh, let's see here. Nope, nope. That's got potential. That's no good. Uh, we'll save that for some other time. Okay, so I think I'll go ahead and end the video here, guys. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like, comment if you have any suggestions, and subscribe if you'd like to look forward to even more videos in the future. Alright, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time for part 6, where we will go and do more bounties and get more Rift Keystones.